Hi everyone, this is Coach D and welcome to Flag Football Friday. I have a new football for you, look at that. Loving it. And today we're gonna to talk about my number one offense strategy that has scored more touchdowns, won more games. And look, whether you're a brand new coach or you're experienced, whether you are doing this for fun, right? You don't care if they win or lose or you're super competitive and you're going for the championship, this strategy is going to help you hands down. And I can tell you, if you are an experienced coach, you've gone to the championships, you know how good this one is. Today, we're gonna to talk about the run pass option, the RPO. You know, a couple years ago when the, the Eagles had their run and they just blew teams out of the water, what they would do is what's called the RPO. That meant that the quarterback Right, had an option to, right, they would hand it off and then they could run or pass, right? So, but in more, most cases, most of these leagues don't allow the quarterback to run, right? You can't run past the line of scrimmage as the quarterback. So we can't have the, the Lamar Jacksons. We can't have any of the Patrick Holmes. We can't have any of those big plays where the quarterback is running up and down the field, right? The mobility of the quarterback is simply in the pocket moving left to right and then they have to throw it or they have to hand it off but you can get around that by using the rpo strategy the run pass option now in all of my plays all of my playbooks i have a couple of these rpo and and what i usually do is i'll put right here in the top that it's a run pass option Okay, and what that simply means is I am going to set up, let's look at it right now. I'm gonna set up the, and it usually works best in shotgun. I'm gonna set up a quarterback here in yellow. Okay, so I've got a quarterback, but then right next to them, I have a running back. So literally, if I'm the quarterback standing here, right, I'm in shotgun. I'm gonna have a running back either on this side or this side that's almost shoulder to shoulder, like right next to me. And what the strategy is, is I'm gonna say, ready, go, or hike, or whatever I go. Hut, hut, I get the ball in my hand. Ready, go, ready, go, right? I'm gonna hand it to that person right away. Now, that running back can either run the ball, right? normal handoff running back goes or they can throw the ball okay because if you're behind the line of scrimmage anytime you hand the ball off all right you can hand it off three times behind the line of scrimmage and then they can throw it all right as long as you're behind the line of scrimmage that ball can be thrown so rpo means i have a run pass option so i get the ball i hand it immediately to the running back the running back can either run or if they see someone open down the field, boom, they can throw the ball. Now, when this happens super fast, the defense doesn't know who has the ball. So if a rush is coming in, they don't know whether to go after the person that just handed it off, right? They don't know. It puts them off balance and keeps them guessing. So it's a great way to be offensive right to to plan an offense against a rush so if you have a rushers coming at you constantly then implement this right this run pass option where boom and now the running back again is either going to run or they can throw the ball they could even get the ball and then throw it back to the quarterback so there's so many different options but let's talk through a couple plays right let's talk through these plays right here so you can understand how this works so first of all if i was putting a quarterback in here i it, this doesn't have to be your skilled quarterback because all they're going to do is literally just hand it over to this other person and the other person should be the person that is either super fast and can run but they can also throw so you have this all-star player gets the ball and can either run down the field or can throw the ball. 
they can do one, they can do both, right? So that is the person. Even though this is looking like a running back here, so I have this person is this Q here, this um, yellow is the quarterback, and they're handing it off to this, it's B, to this uh, green, and then the green is gonna do a nice sweep out here. Or once they have that ball, they can, if this post is open, see this post? If that post is open, boom, I could throw it to the post. Same thing here, right? I have these two are right next to each other. So the quarterback gets it, hands it right off. And this, this running back, or now pretty much a quarterback, can either right, do the misdirection and go, or they can pass it, right? So that is the power of the RPO. So when you are selecting your, I, I have play packs. So when you're doing a, a play pack bundle or you're doing the complete coach and you get over 200 of my plays, you can look and see the ones that are RPO. It just says run pass option. And I would start to use those, especially with the older kids, especially when there's rush coming. That is a great way to just, I mean, confuse that defense, no matter who they are, because you want people on the sideline being like, wait, did he hand that off? Was he allowed to run? Yeah, he was allowed to run because the ball was given over. And of course, get some this season. There is no off season. This is Coach D. If you like what you see, make sure you subscribe, comment, like, and share. I'll see you in the next video. Take care.